Um, we've got an amazing collection of partners. The primary ones uh, are the Pentagram, the thing design firm. Pentagram has come up with our logo and it's going to help us with signage in addition to printed material for the Float Festival. Uh, the Snorri Brothers, who are the commercial directors of the Sprint, the Sprint commercials, um, have done a little video which we'll showcase here. Um, and we'll be creating a documentary, documentary of, the, of the festival. But the, probably one of the most, the, the, probably the most valuable partner we have uh, joined forces with is uh, David Howell. David Howell Designs. You see our arena concept here. Um, these steps and the, the configuration of our space is designed by David Howell. And he's the one that has come up with this plan and he's going to talk further about the design concepts inside this pavilion. So let me introduce David Howell. Thank you, Dan. I'm David Howell. I run a small architectural business in Union Square, Virginia Kiwi. And I got to know Dan through doing a couple of book projects with Kevin Roberts in Frankfurt. And you can be pulled into these very fascinating, interesting projects that our house comes up with. Um, let me explain some of the uh, personal background. As an architect, you get to build somewhat um, creative, edgy structures, so you're always restrained by some physical um, property, budget, clients, etc. Here, when we're dealing with representing artists, and it was very fascinating meeting with uh, four curators, is that the work they showed was so inspiring, such on the edge, the photography, the video, and that was in the first meeting was like, this is a really cool opportunity to do something which embraces these creative people, but also offers some sort of link to how we present so many people, so many artists in a community like Dumbo. So we came up with two different, or two connected, and one of the concept of it was to link, about linking, about connections. Connection being that so many of the artists in this image were the curators. We wanted to have the show to have some sort of um, continuity, some sort of identity but without overpowering it with an architectural statement. So we actually came up with an idea about linking panels together, and you said that here's a model. So you sort of like it's a barrel of monkeys, so they're all linked together with arms. And literally we wanted to create a panel system out of fibre, which is self-supporting and creates quite an amorphous and fractured wall onto which we present the photography. And the material is now passed around. It is um, a plywood with plywood we're going to use that material. It's not a white wall, it's not a monotonous theory of let show photography on a white wall. It's presenting it as part of the environment where it's going to have the material be recycled back into the construction industry at the end. But literally you wanted to have on a global sense these spaces linked by a painted line on the, on the row of the galleries across the paper, and they're overhead by a tension wire, and you see that's quite literally represented in the yellow line between the spaces. The other really important idea that we've, um, we've, we've tried to preserve here is that we, while we're occupying the space, we're also trying to um, offer a a way that the art scene in each space, which is quite individual. So in each space we're trying to have elements of our linking panels and still use part of the existing architecture. So there would be cinder block, there would be some drywall, smack melon, a beautiful industrial environment. And that's really the sort of overall presentation, um, how we perceive the show and how we see that the, the panels are put together. And the last element is to use our, our railway tie as a structural foot for the panel, so it sort of references back to the industry of Dumbo.